fight. No disqualification for the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Championship. Kill Billies against Rage and the Machine. McAllister and Mecca have been dominant ever since forming their team, winning the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles in the first match of 2014 against Kamikaze Kid and Lee Valiant. We'll talk a lot about them in a few moments. They have dominated every team they have been against, Cecil, except for the Kill Billies. That's right. They've won everything except for that tag team tournament because they're facing the team that won it right now. Kill Billies rejuvenated after a lackluster 2013 as Mecca is sent to the floor. If they can isolate McAllister, that's got to be the best strategy here. No disqualification. And it looks like they may just demolition McAllister down into the ground. It looks that way. And I'm, I had to take a look. Eric Andrews is wearing a walking boot this week instead of that wrap that he had last time. Oh, That's going to give him a lot more support. Flapjack. Oh, boy. Boy, no, it'll Mecca makes the save. It'll give him support, but not much in the way of maneuverability. Well, you sacrifice that, as you can attest to, having suffered a, a serious ankle injury. Right, it's very hard to move around in that, but in a no DQ match, it's a great thing to have on your foot. That's a good point. That thing is its a very heavy, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, like a very heavy plastic. It's meant to absorb. It's meant to protect. Right. It's like a metal and plastic. It's very dense, very heavy. I see he's having a much easier time walking around here in the early moments of the bout. Andrews' ankle was demolished during the course of that tag team tournament. The Killbillies rallied to win the tournament in a shocker. And then two weeks ago, once again, the tag team champions targeted the ankle. And it was a chair wrapped around the ankle of Evan Banks oh. that ultimately caused Andrews to lose his mind and go crazy on the champs with a steel chair. That led to the disqualification, one of the rare instances that we've seen a match in via disqualification in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Yeah, you can almost count on one hand the number of DQs we've had. And referee Joey Hogan is just watching the action. It's no DQ. Pinfall does have to occur inside the ring, though. Right, so no DQ basically means Texas tornado rules but it's not a street fight and we I mean it's not going to stop him from fighting on the floor though and Eric Andrews like you said he's moving around much much better good move from Banks sparing the big man into the hardest part of the ring McAllister joins his partner they're making great use of their surroundings right now are the Killbillies using that hard surface that hard edge of the ring to their advantage and the Killbillies have more experience in these type of matches they've been in a number of street fights and, and farm fights and dirt road fights bunkhouse matches and the like Mecca, as far as I know, has only been in a couple of matches like this. I remember back when he feuded with Fatback, we had a couple in the Texas Tornado uh, style of matches, and he's very dangerous in that setting because he's pretty much uncontrollable all the time. In a match like this, he doesn't have to be controlled. That's right. Good thinking from Banks to go for the cover, but he was not aware of his surroundings with McAllister. Hold up. Ooh, only and, got a two count. And McAllister, of course, is a lunatic as it is. You so. have picked Rage and the Machine in every tag team title defense. You have picked them to retain. Who's your pick tonight, seeing in the past how much the Killbillies have had their number? If the Killbillies have a chance, it's in this match. So this is their best chance to take these tag titles. I will say that. Cover two, only two. And right now, they've isolated McAllister. Well, never mind. Here comes... Here comes Mecca again. A big man stomping away at Banks. He's just going nuts on Banks right now. And they've got Banks. Now they're going demolition, but they've got him isolated. McAllister clubbing away. And one thing to keep in mind, whenever there's a lot of separation between Andrews and Banks, it will take a while for Andrews to get over and make a save with that foot. Yeah, the maneuverability, like you said, is compromised in the sake in the name of protection. Yeah, he can put weight on it. He just can't run. Oh, he rolled the dice there. Great move from Banks. He's got to be aware of his surroundings, though. Mecca Ooh. makes the save. Like I said, in this Texas Tornado style of match, you got to keep your head on a swivel. One thing I've noticed about Evan Banks now on more than one occasion is he has been singularly focused on one opponent. That will not play to the strengths of this style of match. 
Right, and that, that came in handy, we you know, in a standard tag because that really hurt him in a lot of times when he would try to go after everybody. But in a match like this, you really got to have your head on the swivel. Starting to finally, McAllister hooks him, plants him face first. Good move there from the champions. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that's a fight stopper. 400 pounds. Becca, though, is still feeling the effects of that spear from Banks. Two, two. Just barely rolled that shoulder up. Crowd here firmly behind the Killbillies. And they've still got Banks isolated. Oh, we got a chair. McAllister calling for it. No, Bobby O'Neill's got the chair. He took the chair. Oh, God, got clubbed in the back of the oh, head, man. though. His intentions were good. Well, Bobby O'Neill, we pointed out before, is not the best kind of avenger of the Killbillies. You know, he's not a great fighter, per se. Becca, wait, hold on. Knee trembler. McAllister's left his partner. Spear. Banks has got the spear on Mecca. Wait, Wait who in the hell? Some, there's some woman is in the ring. Who is that? Who the hell is that? Oh my God, she's got a chain around the. She's choking down Eric Andrew. Well, this baby Banks. This woman, this masked woman, has has pretty much just about silenced the sportatorium. She's choking the life out of Evan Banks with that chain. And this is no small woman. And they've got Andrews in the far corner. Banks is being, it's no disqualification. Bobby O'Neill is down. And Banks is getting straight up choked out in the far corner. Blanco slam. Yeah, she's just choking him down with a chain. This woman's crazed. They're, whoever that is, they're dragging her around by the hair like a, like a rabid dog. She's like a Wolverine. They're directing her. What in the world? Well, they have silenced the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Now what? Oh, oh, my God. A double stop to the back of the neck. Andrew's head and neck compressed into the canvas. Awkwardly, McAllister needs to keep this thing on a leash. And Joey Ogan trying to confront this person. Cover. The champs have retained. The sportatorium is silenced. Who is this, this thing in the ring? We might have found someone more crazy and deranged than the, than the tag champions. Well, they have silenced the sportatorium. around by the hair what in the world is going on you're still the danger <laughs>